John. Hi. Can you talk now? Yes. Can you come over on 6.30? Uh, what's happening? Uh, we could do something. Maybe we could take a drive. A drive? Yeah, you want to do that? No. No? You want to do something around 6.30? Well, well, that's kind of soon for me to get there. I'll tell you this much. John, I'm going to be tripping then, and I'd like somebody to be around to make sure I don't jump out a fucking window, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, like, um, I can't spend any money. What, tonight? I have no money at all. Really? I still didn't get my retroactive unemployment that I was expecting uh -huh. due to another technicality, and, and, like, when I finally get it, it will be like $1,000, but I just cannot spend a single cent on anything. Uh, recreational, uh -huh. you know, for for a while. I made 200 bucks this weekend, but the check hasn't cleared yeah, what yet. What were you doing this weekend? I try to get you. Yeah, doing a movie, uh, but very, very lousy, terrible people to work for. I was just Who desperate for the money. Uh, esoteric Press. Oh, them again. Yeah. So do you want to come by, though? Um, well, to do what? To watch you? <laughs> <laughs> that would only take about an hour. I can never make it by 6.30. No? No. All right, I'll try it, boy. I'll, I'll handle it myself. Yeah. I'll see you at the theater tonight. Um, oh, I don't know anything about that. Am I invited? Uh, you could go there with me. I'll, uh, if Joel can't get you in, I'll try to get you in. You think it's worth it? To see the film? No, to see, I mean, will I be, what are the chances I'll be able to get in? A 50-50. What time does it start? Midnight. Oh, midnight. Wow. All right, I'll talk to you later this evening. Is it okay to call you when you're well, tripping? I'll call you, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. Hello? John? Yeah. You're welcome to come as my guest tonight, because I called the theater manager, and he said I could bring someone on my own. Okay. Because he knows me, and no woman I know wants to see this thing. Right. <laughs> one, of them, one of them is going to see it, but she said, not while I'm tripping. Okay. I took it at six o'clock. Oh, so what time should I come over? Uh, you don't have to come over. You could meet me at the theater at like eleven thirty or so. What is the address? Uh, Eighth Street at Sixth Avenue, the Eighth Street Playhouse. Okay. All right. Good. Hello, John. Yeah. Can you come by and pick me up first before going to the theater? Sure. I'd really appreciate it. Listen, uh, I have to tell you a few things. We have time. You listening? Yeah. Are you awake? Yeah. First of all, this is very heavy, and you should never do this if you do it at all on your own. What is that? Uh, what I'm, I'm on, and I'm on at this minute. Oh. Uh, you do realize things about yourself. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Gives you one. It gives you this. Well, I'm seeing like I, I have a lot of like uh, visual. Uh, I don't know if it's normal, but I have like this weird rushy feeling from this. You know, it's, I'm sure it's not very healthy. You know, what kind of rushy feeling. Yeah. What kind of? What do you mean a rush? Chills and stuff, and oh, you know, yeah. it just rushes. And uh, you know, I uh, I'm gonna smoke some more pot. You know, and see if that makes it subside a little. You know, but I'm getting a lot of visual distortion from this. And I just took like a, a half of it, you know, of one capsule. You can imagine what's in one an entire thing, you know. And this thing leaves you with the utter sensation of paranoia, like you've never felt it. Hmm. Uh, you also have the thought, you also have the feeling when you're on it. I guess this must say a lot about people who are acid heads or hallucinogen heads. You feel utter, you feel utterly alone in the world. You feel nobody wants you at all. No, I, I was uh, never. I never would want to experiment with it anyway. You know that. You know, for your own good. Uh, you know, uh, I'd say that you know. Knowing, knowing what you're like and knowing what I'm like, I'd say that if I had this a year ago, this this might have been a little heavy for me. You know, it might have scared me. Hmm. You know, this is just a year ago, you know. Yeah. So what time should I pick you up? You know, as soon as possible, we could go off. You know, we could take a walk around or something. I don't think it's good for me to be up. Or have a pizza, long. right? You know, just walk around a lot, you know. Okay. I'll see you soon. Oh, um, do I have to call you when I get there? Or? 
Yeah, do that, please. Okay. Uh, you got the number? I'll bring it with me. Four seven five five eight four one. Your home number? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring it Not with the me. the Con Ed number, John. No. <laughs>